Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter, specifically how we can find the missing side lengths if we are given the perimeter and another side, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So here's a sample problem. We are given the perimeter of a rectangle, so let's draw our rectangle here. And we are given one side length. And so let's say the length is 10. And we'll just call this 10 right here. All right, so 10 inches. So the perimeter equals 24 inches. Now remember, the perimeter is all the way around, right? It's all four sides together, right? So if this side right here, our length is 10, then we know that this side right here is 10. So let's see what we have so far. Our perimeter, remember, is going to be the length plus the length plus the width plus the width, all four sides. We know that our lengths are 10 inches. So we can substitute that in. We can say 24 equals 10, that's the first length, plus 10, that's the second length, plus I don't know what my two widths are. So 24 equals, what's 10 and 10? 10? 10 and 10 make 20, plus w plus w. Wow, so 20 plus this has got to make 24. Well, this right here, that's got to be 4, right? Because 20 plus 4 make 24. But that doesn't mean that my width is 4. No, because remember, the width plus the width make 4. So I've got to cut that in half. So how could I cut that four in half? What if I made that two? All right, so 24 equals, let's see, my length is 10 plus 10. And if I said plus two, plus two. Well, that makes 20. That makes four. 20 plus four does make 24. So my width is two inches. So that actually wasn't a very good drawing. It would be a lot skinnier. It'd be more like this, right? There's my two and there's my 10. But that's how we can draw a picture given the perimeter and one side length to find another side length. Let's look at another example. So we have another problem. We're given another perimeter. Let's draw another rectangle here. This may or may not be an accurate representation, but that's fine. And we're given the width is eight. All right, so let's just call this eight right here. And we know that the whole thing all the way around, that's the perimeter, right? That's 36. So let's do the same thing. If we know that one width is 8, then we can say that the other width is 8. So I'm going to label it like that. And I'm going to remember that my perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. Another way to think about that is this is double the length or two times the length, right? 2L is the same as L plus L because there's two L's plus that's double the width, 2W. So let's use this second formula this time. What is my width? I know my width. I need my length. Hmm. My width is eight. So I'm going to replace that with an 8. So I'm going to say double the length plus double the, my width is really an 8. So what we can do here is we can put a parentheses. When you see a 2 and then a parentheses and then another number or any number outside of parentheses, that means multiplication. You just don't want to have to put an x there or a dot there. So that means my perimeter, which I guess I can go and replace that with 36, can't I? Equals double the length plus what's 2 times 8. That's 16. Okay, so how far away is 36 from 16? That is 20. So I need this to equal 20. So how can I get that to equal 20? Well, I've already got a 2 times something, so 2 times what equals 20? Well, that'd be 10. That's a basic fact. So I can say 2 times 10, and that would make a 20 plus 16. That would work, which means... My length is 10.